Peace and blessings, soul family. I love you all. Hope everyone had a wonderful Navratri. Um, today, I'm actually going to get back into some of the stuff we were talking about before Navratri. <clears throat> so today, we're actually going to talk about the Pancha Mahabhutas. So these are the five elements that we see uh, spoken of in Western ceremonial magic and uh, paganism, many other uh, traditions. And this is the earth, air, fire, water, spirit that you will see uh, symbolized with the pentagram. So this, the same similar elements, basically the same thing um, over here in either Sankhya or Nandul Shavatantra. And <clears throat> these elements are Akasha, Vayu, Agni, Jala, and Prithvi, or um, ether, basically a kosh, um, air, fire, water, and earth. <clears throat> so I'm going to read about each of the elements in a couple of these different things and show you some. So the lowest um, element, of course, is earth. It's at the bottom of the Tatwa hierarchy and is not seen by tantricas as the lowest of principles, but rather the most complete, that level of reality on which all the Tatwas are fully manifest. In other words, at the top of the ta uh, Tatwa hierarchy, Shiva, all the principles are present in potential form, while at the bottom, Earth, all these potentialities inherent in the divine are fully expressed. Earth element by itself is a principle of solidity, density, resistance, and groundedness. The esoteric Bij mantra, seed syllable commonly used to evoke and activate it, is Lam. Now, there is a common misconception... That the Bij Mantra Lam is associated with Mudlahara Chakra, and in fact, it is the Bij Mantra of Earth Element, which happens to be installed at the level of Mudlahara Chakra in the subtle body, which we'll come to will come to later. With Earth Element, all five senses are engaged in perceiving it. So, it is the full embodiment of experience. Traditional abstract symbol used in tantric visualization for earth element is a golden yellow square marked by vajras on all four sides or a golden yellow cube or prism. So th this is from Tantra Illuminated. And then here in Tatwashuti, we'll go to that earth element, Prithvi, and read its uh, characteristics. So its nature is heavy. Its quality is weight and cohesion. Its color is yellow, shape quadrangular, cube. Chakra, Muladhara. Mantra, Lam. The Tan Mantra is smell. The function in the body is skin, blood vessels, bone construction, anus, nose, uh, or anus is the Karmandriya. The Gyanandriya is the nose. The location is the toes to the knees. The mental state is ahamkara, or ego. The kosha is the anamaya kosha, or food sheath. The pranavayu is apana. The loka is bu. And the direction is the east. So, now we're going to go to, uh, or where is it, water. Apas or Jal. Water is the principle of liquidity and solvency. The senses of hearing, touch, sight, and taste are engaged in perceiving it, especially the latter. The Bij mantra commonly used for it is Vam. The abstract symbol for the water element is a silvery crescent moon with its points pointing upward, a silvery white crescent moon or a silvery white silver bowl with the water inside of it, and sometimes pictured with two lavender water lilies to either side of that bowl of silvery water. Then over here, we have its nature is cool, its quality is fluidity and contraction, its color is white, its shape is the crescent moon, the chakra is Swadishtan. Uh, mantra is Vam. The Tan mantra is Taste. The function in the body is all the bodily fluids. The Karmandriya is the reproductive organs. The Gyanandriya is the tongue. The location is the knees to the navel. The mental state part of the uh, Antakarana is Budhi, discrimination. 
the kosha is the pranamaya kosha, the the subtle sheath of um, energy, the pranic body. The pranavayu is prana. The loka is buha. And the direction is the west. <clears throat> so then we move to the next tatwa, which is fire, tehas or agni. Uh, fire is the principle of combustion and transformation. And Ayurveda speaks of the digestive fire within the human body as a way of describing the process in which the digestive system transforms food into energy, which is a kind of combustion. The senses of hearing, touch, sight are engaged in perceiving it, especially the latter. The bij mantra commonly used for it is Ram. The abstract symbol for the fire element is an upward-pointing red triangle wreathed in flames or a three-dimensional visualization. It is a red pyramid. Then over here, we got fire, of course. It's, ah, dang it. Its nature is hot. Its quality is heat. An expansion its color is red the shape is triangular the chakra is the manipur chakra the mantra is ram the tan mantra is sight the function in the body is appetite thirst and sleep the karmandriya is feet the gyanandriya is eyes the location is from your navel to your heart the mental state is the manas thought and counter thought uh, the kosha is the manamaya kosha, the mental sheath. The prana value is samana. The loka is swa, and the direction is south. Then we move on to bayu, the wind. Wind is the principle of mobility. Note that air and wind are the same word in Sanskrit, but the latter would be more accurate translation. The primary characteristics of vayu is the way it moves to fill a partial vacuum, constantly seeking to even itself out, so the wind element is primarily marked by its mobility, which is why wind is better translation than air. The senses of hearing and touch are engaged by perceiving it, especially the latter. The bij mantra commonly used for it is yam, and you can hear and feel the wind, especially the latter. It activates the touch element mostly. The abstract symbol for six smoky black dots or a six smoky black spheres that are rotating round, angled at the points of the Star of David. So the hexagram. Um, I don't know. I lost the page. Let me pause this. Okay, the air element, its nature is erratic. Its quality is motion and movement. Its color is blue-gray. Its shape is hexagonal. Its chakra is the anahata, heart chakra. Its mantra is yam. Its tan mantra is touch. Its function in the body is muscular expansion and contraction. Its karmandriya is hands. Its gyanandriya is skin. Its location is the heart to the mid eyebrows. The mental state is chitta, psychic content. Um, the kosha is the vigyanamaya kosha. Um, the pranavayu is udana. The loka is maha, and the direction is north. So now we got the last of the five Mahabhutas, which is Akash. Um, space is the principle of vacuity, vacuity and the extension, three-dimensionality. It is sometimes mistranslated in English as ether, a concept of the interstellar medium that was debunked around 100 years ago, which really wasn't. Really, Akash means space. Space provides the contact for the manifestation of all matter and energy. The sense of hearing is engaged in perceiving it. In the sense that sound resonates through space and requires space to resonate in, the bij mantra commonly used for it is hum. The visualization of the space element, as you might imagine, is simply a black space or a black sphere, sometimes visualized as a multicolored points of light. Okay, and uh, sometimes you'll see it as the black egg. Alrighty. Now the quality of this is mixed. It's, or I mean, its nature is mixed. Its quality is diffused, space-giving. 
its color is blackish its quadrang or its uh, shape is uh bindu or a dot its chakra is vishuddhi throat chakra its mantra is ham its tan mantra is sam its function in the body is emotions and passions its karmandriya is the vocal cords its gyanandriya is the ears its let's see what is it location is the mid eyebrows to the top of the head its mental state is prajna intuition its kosha is the anandamaya kosha the bliss body its pranavayu is vayana its loka is jhana and its direction is middle and above I hope this video will still upload on TikTok. I'm 30 seconds late. But I love you guys. I'll get back and get back to the other things. That's the Pancha Mahabutas.